Hey guys, I wanted to share a card I made for Blue Bell Crafts um, challenge. And in March, sorry guys, I just one second. Uh, she's turning twenty fifth on March eleventh, and she wants to do a giveaway to celebrate. Um, so the prize is a twenty five dollar gift certificate to her favorite craft store, All That Scraps dot com. Which is actually turning out to be my favorite craft store. Um, they have really great sales. Um, <clears throat> so the contest or the giveaway closes March 10th at midnight. And the drawing will be March 11th. And of course you have to be a subscriber in order to qualify. So the ways that you can enter, she has several. The ways you can enter are to create a birthday card. Uh, and the card has to have the color blue on it somewhere. And then you have to make a video response and uh, post it to that video. Uh, the second way is to create a video response promoting her giveaway, which I will do next. Then you can leave a comment on her video telling me uh, what her... Huh? Sorry, guys. <laughs> leave a comment on her video uh, telling her what your favorite crafty item to use is. Way number four is to like her Facebook page and leave a comment under her giveaway post. And number five is subscribe to her blog and leave a comment under that giveaway entry. With the, and you have to leave your YouTube name there. Okay, so guys, go check out her challenge. I've just realized I've been going back steadily. Now let's go back. Okay. So go check her out. I will post her... Well, I'm going to post it as a video response, so it should show up uh, beneath my video. But I will try to link it in the box, um, and just let me show what I did here. I made a simple card, because I kind of like making simple cards anyway. But, um, uh, I don't know, it's just what I wanted to do. So what I did was I used this blue paper from, uh, oh, what is it? I think it's exact... Uh, it's some kind of 110 pound blue, blue cardstock I have anyway. And then I took a piece of 110 pound white cardstock that I have that I got at Staples. I punched the sides of it using my Martha Stewart punch. Um, there's probably none left at Michael's, guys, but I did get it. I got this border punch for five bucks at Michael's. You can see if they have any left. Um, this piece of blue is the same paper as out here. And this silver ribbon is from Michael's. It was a Christmas ribbon. And you can kind of see the glue in the background. Uh, it's glue tape. Oh, I have a funny story about glue tape, too. I think I'll share it with you. I'm just going to put you down for a second, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. Sorry. So, I buy these glue tapes at my dollar store, um, and they're $1.25, and they last for, well, an okay time. I just don't have the money to buy the ATG gun, so this is what I'm using for now. Only, my the Dollarama, which is where I get these, hasn't had them in stock for a long time. So, I was at one of the other dollar stores in town, and I seen this. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, that will work the same. Um, not so much. See this? I didn't see it says, sorry about the glare. It says roll on sticker tape. Let me show you what it does. Let me give you a hint. It's not glue. Try to remember how this works. So I put it down and I was like, well first I was like this, I'm like, why won't it work? Oh my god. And then I was like, oh, I'll just turn it over. It's sticker tape. Guys, it's not sticky. It's just tape with words on it. That's what it is. See? <laughs> Which is cool. And I'm wasting it showing everyone what it does. But, um, yeah, not glue tape, guys. It's not glue tape. So if you see that, it's not glue tape. It doesn't stick anything together, but it is kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Back to this. So then, after I put the ribbon on, uh, what I did was I used, uh, this is a Michael's Stamp of Recollections stamp 
I can't remember the name. It doesn't really have a name. Uh, it's an older set, and I guess they didn't. So what I did is I stamped it in Versamark, and then I uh, embossed it in with white embossing powder. And then I actually tried to do a trick I seen on Stamp TV, and I failed miserably. Um, Gina has a way that you can make kind of you make um, glitter permanent by uh, putting it over hot embossing powder, and it did not work for me because I must I did it wrong. <laughs> I gotta watch the video again and see. You can see it a little bit right there. But I have to watch the video again to see exactly what you do, because I, I messed up. And all I did then to finish the card was I went around it with my white gel pen. And I put in the X's. Those are white gel pen as well. And there's nothing on the inside. Um, Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, hope you enjoyed our little uh, side journey into sticker tape. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye guys.